On Friday, December 10th, the software development and IT operations industries were rocked by the Apache Log4j vulnerability. While zero-day open source vulnerabilities are far from uncommon, it was the easy exploitation and popularity of this Java logging framework that led to its heightened severity and urgency. Given the severity, it's important to assess how your organization, your vendors, and your customers may be affected. Depending on your organization, you may be a software supplier, consumer, or in many cases, both. For suppliers, the question is, how do we know if we use Log4j components in our applications? And for consumers, it's, how do I know if our vendors use Log4j components, in turn, making us vulnerable? Either way, the answer can be found with an inventory of open source components. With Black Duck, a combination of dependency, code print, and snippet analysis works to identify the open source and application source code, regardless of its language or being explicitly declared. Black Duck binary analysis delivers the same capability when used with compiled files, such as firmware, executables, libraries, and other formats often provided by vendors or other third-party sources. The end result of Black Duck's analysis is a complete open source bill of materials. With this bill of materials, you're able to review every open source component and its effective version used in your application. And I'm gonna hand it over to Grant to demonstrate this. Thanks, Mike. So today I'm gonna to be showing you what looking at this new Log4j vulnerability looks like in Black Duck, how you can see details of this vulnerability and also which projects this might affect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm coming into Black Duck here and I'm actually just gonna search for this new vulnerability. So this is CV 2020-21-44-22-8. So I search for this vulnerability in Black Duck and I can see not only this vulnerability, so this CV, but I can also see any other BDSAs or CVs related to this. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna jump into this BDSA and we're gonna look into some more details on this vulnerability. And then we're gonna jump in to see which projects are actually affected by this issue. So when I jump into this vulnerability, first off, you can see that we scored this as a critical vulnerability. So this is coming from a Black Duck security advisory feed. We can also see that there's an exploit published for this, and this original vulnerability was disclosed on the December, sorry, December the 10th, 2021. And we can also see there's a fix and an exploit already made available for this, and currently this is 11 days old. When we scroll down, we can see that Black Duck has tagged this with this remote code execution tag, and that's just because this is one of the most severe types of vulnerabilities, because this allows you to completely compromise the system where this vulnerability exists. You can see some updated information. So this was updated on the 18th of December. So we've got some information uh, around how to work around and fix this issue. Previously, there was some advice around upgrading to 2.15 of Log4j. That's since been revoked, and now we're recommending you upgrade to version 2.16 instead. If I go into the technical details page, I could see more information and additional links for this. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to jump in to see the affected projects for this vulnerability. So I can see I've got a number of different projects here. These are using different versions of Log4j. The project that I want to jump into right now is this one here, so this Roller 1 project. When I jump into this, I can see the bill of materials for this project, and I'm already filtering on that Log4j component. I can also see um, we've got both the Apache core Log4j component identified, but also the API as well. And as you can see, the API isn't actually vulnerable to this issue, it's just the core Log4j. There's also transitive dependencies. So this isn't a direct dependency, this is one of those additional dependencies coming from the uh, tree of dependencies that we're using in this project. If I jump into those vulnerabilities, I can see a version of Log4j we're using here, version 2.14.1. has got three vulnerabilities, including this CV442288 I was looking at earlier. And I can see that the upgrade advice coming from Black Duck is recommending that we upgrade to version 2.17 of Log4j, because that fixes not only this vulnerability, but all of these others as well. So that's how you can get some information from Black Duck around this new Log4j vulnerability which projects of yours are affected by it, and also how you can upgrade to remediate this issue. And with that, I'm gonna pass you back to Mike. Thanks, Grant. So how do you get ahead of the next zero day open source vulnerability using Black Duck? We discussed the importance of a complete and consistently accurate open source inventory that can be continuously monitored. 
not only of the applications you build, but also the ones that you may consume. We also showed how a Black Duck security advisory gives you the actionable details and guidance needed to reduce the time from disclosure to remediation. But the final step is being notified of a vulnerability in a timely fashion. Black Duck integrates across the entire SDLC to not only initiate the right scan at the right time to provide a living bill of materials, but also to notify key stakeholders when new vulnerabilities are discovered. Today is not the time to be looking for yesterday's vulnerabilities. Black Duck arms you with the constant visibility, resources, and alerts needed to stay ahead of attackers and keep your applications secure.